warm good morning today we are going to discuss about the gate training by using the crutches okay crutches are different types okay this is axillary crutches and we have elbow crutches and forearm we very crutches like that different types of crutches we are using only axillary crutches and axillary crutches is having an axillary pad a hand piece and an adjustable foot piece and foot piece and a rubber piece okay so before starting the gait training we need to get the stretches according to the patient's height okay it will be different in the market it is available in small medium large and extra large sizes and we have only medium size available with us okay so we will see we need to adjust the foot piece according to the length of the patient by using this tip okay we can just see it made it up or down and we need to make sure that this is getting pin in the fold otherwise the pain will part in by putting the patient weight it will get press down okay see this is the button fold and the button okay and this is the hand piece this also we need to adjust when the patient is standing his wrist need to be here okay the in the hand piece so the elbow need to be for 30 degree like around then only we be using the leg and this axillary pad should be three finger width from the axilla so we will keep it here like 6 inch front and 6 inch away from your body this is the position of crutch walking tripod position we are using and so we need to see this three finger down from the this this is not my size we see it here okay see this should be 6 inch in just or away from the in that diagonal okay from here and from here front view side view okay and see the axillary pad should be three finger need to go otherwise the axillary uh, nerves and vessels will get compressed and then we see the problem and that patient should hold it like this and we can adjust the hand piece also if it is not in proper position by remove this and take it out and then give it in here there is three four holes so we can adjust according to the patient needs that then we need to tighten it again and make sure that all the nuts and bolts are tight before starting okay now we will see how to get up by using the crutches okay to see to use it in the ground okay and i am going to walk to the crutches so i have to get up from the chair or bed or whatever before starting and my crutches are somewhere over here or down so i am just taking my crutches and holding the hand piece and then by using the other hand i am using my one leg normal leg and instead of the weak leg i am putting the weight over here okay and then standing up and this moving it and then going for walk okay and then i am coming back on the chair also the same way i am transferring my stretches and i am holding the chair and sit okay this is how we are standing and sitting by using the Practice. Okay. Now we will see how we are going to walk with the crutches. Okay. By using the crutches, there are different types of gait training. So one type of classification is like two point, three point, four point gait training. 
and why classification based on the weight bearing status okay it may be non weight bearing partial weight bearing or full weight bearing or perfect like that according to the doctor suggests the surgery and or what are the orthopedician or whoever is referring to the patient they will tell how much weight they can put on the injured leg so according to that we are doing okay so first i will show you how we are using the crutches with normal bed weight thing okay so for that see and this crutch uh, is not of my size but i am just showing it and my right leg is not supposed to keep me it's not very very and see the crutch this is the tripod position around 6 inches away from my foot okay and i'm just this is my crutch just moving it okay see this is long way there okay and i can turn
three point. One, two, three. This is called three point day training. Okay, and four point day training. See, one, two, three, four. One, right leg. Sorry, right leg, left leg, left leg, and right. Understand? Right, left, left, right. This is called four point day training. So. Now we discussed about how to measure the stretches, sitting and standing, and two types of classification of weight training: two point weight training, three point, four point weight training. How the position of the stretches on the ground and swing to and swing through according to the speed, swing to and swing through. This is the faster type, and according to the weight bearing, we have learned non weight bearing, partial weight bearing, and full weight bearing. Is it clear? Okay, thank you. Now Raj will demonstrate for us how to stand from sitting by using the crutches. His right leg is injured, and it is not supposed to use weight. So see how Raj is going to get up. As I shown, you may be not able to see because of my dressing. So now you will be able to see it properly. See how to stand. Good. And sorry, my dear students, uh, the crutches size is very small for our Raj. Okay, this is the way how to stand by using the crutches and how to sit. See, he is keeping his hands from inside and holding the chair and sitting. Other. Now we will see how Raj is walking non-weight bearing gait training. His injured leg is right. Okay, just keep a little bit more far the crutches. Yes. So this is the line in between the two crutches is called crutch line. He is going to walk. Inside the crutch line, so that is swing to gate. Okay, just walk. Ah, okay. Inside the crutch line, just keep front, front crutch, crutch front, a little bit more front, more front. Ah, okay, and then inside, small step, small step. Yes, the right side, uh, right leg. You are not supposed to keep it in the ground. It's not allowed. Okay, just inside the crutch line. This is swing to non weight bearing. Now you can do swing through through the crutch line. You can come forward. Yes. Okay. Turn. Turn. As Raj is young and he can move easily, so he will fly with crutches. See. Just go by practice. A crutch line front. You can just swing through the crutch line. Okay. A turn. Turn, turn. You can swing through the crutch line. Swing through the crutch line. Crutch line forward. Crutch line. Yes, speed walking. Yes, that is swing through non-weight bearing gait training. Hope it is clear for you. So now Abhishek will demonstrate for us partial weight bearing gait training. See, he is standing now, and his right leg is allowed to use. Partial weight bearing. Okay, you just you can keep. Yeah, come on. Yes, that's oh. not touch. You can keep in the full ground. Little weight only, but you can keep full right leg forward. Keep keep. Ah, oh. don't put weight. Okay, keep right leg. Don't put weight. Ah, oh. keep right leg forward. Don't keep weight. See and then turn slowly. Turn. And move, yes, yes. The thing you need to notice is that the crutch should be far, okay. And if something obstacle is in the ground, you need to remove that also. 
okay hope it is clear now we will see how to climb by using the crutches okay so you need to know that how to climb up stairs and down stairs with the crutches for that you need to remember one thing when you are going up you are using your good leg always when you are coming down you are using your bad leg always okay good one goes to heaven and bad leg goes to hell okay so you just see i'm standing and my right leg is no way carry and i'm using this see and if my good leg is left i'm standing up and going up see When I am coming down, I am using my crutches and injured leg, and see my crutches. These are all partial weight bearing, so I am just keeping down, and my weight is on my hands and this. See. This is the way. By going up, good leg goes first, and crutches follows. By coming down, crutches down, bad injured leg, and then the normal leg. Okay. If you go in other way, for sure you will fall. Okay. Okay, dear students. Now Abhishek will show us how to climb the stairs by using the crutches. Okay, start. See his good leg is going up, and the crutches follows, and again, again, good leg goes, and crutches follows. Yes, go up, up. Good, you are doing a good job. Good. Yes. Take care. Good. Yes. Stand down. So while coming forward, he is keeping his. crutches and injured leg down and then he is taking his normal leg crutches down good yes very good 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 if you have crutches at home try to practice 